Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, All Things Tanya. If you are stopping by for the very first time on my channel, I love creating fun, easy, and affordable DIYs. To show you how inexpensive these DIYs could be, tonight I'm using paint sticks, wood tumbling blocks, and clothespins. But before we jump into these DIYs tonight, I am so excited to be collaborating with my friend Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating. I'm going to drop the link to her channel right below in my description box so that you can head over to her channel and look at all the beautiful things that she is creating today and have created in the past. I promise you, you will not regret going over to visit her channel. Now I'm going to show you how I created these fun, easy, and affordable DIYs. This DIY is inspired by Pinterest, but of course I'm going to put my own little spin on it. I will be using 33 of the clothespins, but I will be taking them apart. So I will end up with a total of 66 pieces. I will also be using my Apple Barrel acrylic paint color peach, my Waverly chalk paint color moss, and my Apple Barrel acrylic paint color antique beige. I'm also going to use these round little containers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Back when items in the Dollar Tree were actually $1, I will be using all three of these clear pieces in this DIY. There's actually 36 clothespins in each pack. I am going to be using 33 of them, taking them apart and ending up with 66 pieces. I removed the two wooden pieces from this little attachment right here, which I will not be throwing away because you never know, you might be able to use it in a DIY. Now I will be painting my pieces of clothespins different colors. I will be using my peach, my moss, and my antique beige to add a sprinkle of color to my DIYs tonight. To paint my pieces, I will be pouring a little bit of paint inside of a Ziploc bag and then I will place my clothespin pieces inside and this way is less messy and I will be sure to get paint on all of my pieces. I will be using a total of 22 pieces for each one of these colors. Once I am sure that I have paint coverage on all of my pieces, I'm going to take some wet paper towels and I'm going to put on my gloves just to protect my hands from the paint and use the wet paper towels to wipe away all of the excess paint. I'm going to continue with the same process with the other pieces from the bag and then repeat with the other two colors. Now that I have all of my pieces painted and they have dried, I'm going to start gluing them onto my containers. It will take all 22 pieces to cover the entire container. As you can see here, I'm gluing them tightly together, not allowing for any spacing to make sure that all 22 pieces will fit snugly. And here's what it looks like after I've added all 22 pieces. I love the farmhouse look of the clothespins and I cannot wait to see how everything comes together. 
Now here's all three of them. I love the color combination. I'm glad I chose these colors. Now I really cannot wait for you to see how beautifully these turn out at the end. To add a little more to that farmhouse look, I'm going to take some jute twine that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap it around several times and tie a simple bow in the front. Look at how adorable these are turning out. I think this is just so cute. I cannot wait to finish the other two. Now to finish these up, I'm going to add a few pieces of these floral picks that I picked up from Michaels. They were on sale for 50% off, so I got them each for $1. I'm going to glue small pieces of flower foam inside each of the containers and then I'm going to take pieces of the flowers and put them inside and this DIY will be completed. After seeing how pretty the containers turned out, I decided to use these paint sticks that I picked up from Home Depot to make a flower caddy for the containers. I'm going to start by placing five of the paint sticks down in alternating position on ruler side facing up. Then I'm going to cut the tips off of these large craft sticks that I also picked up from Home Depot and I'm going to use them to glue my paint sticks together. As you can see here, the craft sticks worked perfectly for gluing my paint sticks together. And now I'm going to take two sets of six of my wood tumbling blocks and I'm going to glue them together and they will be used to create the sides for my plant caddy. Now I'm going to glue together a row of six of the wood tumbling blocks to create my handle. And then I will attach one tumbling block to each end just like this so that I will be able to attach it to my paint stick. Now here are all the pieces that I will need to put my caddy together. The five that I glued together, the two pieces for the side, my handle, and four extra paint sticks. Because I want a darker stain, I will be mixing my Waverly Antique Wax and just a small amount of my Waverly Chalk Paint Color ink Mix it together and then I will be applying it with my paintbrush and wiping away the excess using wet paper towels. I really love how my projects turn out when I mix these two colors together, especially after wiping away the excess and I am still able to see the grain in the wood and it really turns out perfectly. I love how it is turning out. Now that all of my pieces have been stained to give it more of a distressed look, that farmhouse look, I'm going to use my sanding bar and I'm just going to rough it up just a little. Now it's time to put my caddy together. I am going to use my hot glue gun and I am going to glue a single paint stick on each of the longer side of the five paint sticks that are already glued together. Next, I'm going to glue my tumbling blocks to each of the sides. Then I'm going to use the two paint sticks that I have left to start creating my handle. Now, 
Now all I have to do is attach my wood tumbling blocks to complete my handle and I will have my flower caddy. Well, that's it for this DIY. I think my little clothespin planters will look really cute in this little caddy and I hope you like it too. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. For my next DIY, I will be using eight of these 12 inch paint sticks. I will be gluing them together just like this using some large craft sticks. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that they are even and that they are all on the ruler side facing up. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I am using Gorilla Glue sticks from Walmart. Apply some glue and then I'm just going to place the craft stick right on top just like this. Next I'm going to use my Waverly Chalk Paint Color Plaster and I am going to paint both sides. I picked up these letters H, M, and E from Hobby Lobby, they were $1.29 each. I'm going to use the mixture that I used in my previous project and I am going to stain them. I'm also going to use two of these large craft sticks because I want to cover the holes in the paint sticks. So I'm measuring here so that I can cut them down and then I'm going to use the same stain and stain them as well. I'm going to apply the mixture the same way I did in my previous project. I'm going to brush it on with my paintbrush and then I'm going to use the wet paper towels to wipe off the excess. Now I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to attach all of my stained pieces. I'm going to place the three letters on my sign, leaving a space because I will be creating a small little wreath to go in between the H and the M. Before gluing my letters on, I'm going to use my chippy brush and some leftover stain, and I am going to distress my sign a little by dry brushing around the edges. Now I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue on my letters. And then I'm going to use a few pieces of the floral picks that I used in my previous project to create a wreath. As you can see here, I'm using my hot glue gun and these pieces and I'm just trying to form a circle to create my wreath. This is how my home sign is turning out so far. I really love it. I really love how it turned out. And I am just going to add a few of these half beads to the bottom and top of my sign and this DIY will be completed. For my final DIY, I will be using eight of these large craft sticks. I will be using my mita box and my saw, and I will be cutting off the tips of the paint sticks. 
I will be creating two farmhouse sconces with four of the paint sticks in each. I also used two extra of the large paint sticks to cut down eight four inch pieces. Now I'm going to use my scissors to cut down some large craft sticks to glue my paint sticks together. As you can see here, the craft sticks and the glue really hold the paint sticks together. I will be using my Waverly Chalk Paint Color Plaster and I will be painting the front and the back of my paint sticks and I also will be painting my eight little small pieces. Now that all of the pieces have dried, I will begin gluing everything together. I am going to glue one of the 4 inch piece to the bottom and one to the top. And then I am going to go in and distress it a little by going around the edges using my chippy brush and my antique wax. Then I'm going to go in and tone everything down a little by using my sanding bar and I'm just going to go over my board lightly. Now I'm going to take two of the shorter pieces and I'm going to glue them together to create my shelf and then I'm going to glue them to the larger paint sticks. I want to be able to hang my sconces on the wall, so I will be using a piece of this large nautical rope and I will be attaching it to the back. I really love how these are turning out so far. I just need to add one more thing to my sconces and they will be completed. For that farmhouse look, I think that these buckets would be just what I need. I am going to remove these metal handles because I will be adding the thick jute rope to tie in with the look of the sconces. I picked up these large buckets from the Dollar Tree around Christmas time, so I only paid a dollar for them. I want the buckets to have a leather look, so I'm trying to be creative here. <laughs> and I am going to dab on some of my Waverly Chalk Paint Color Plaster, and then I am going to go in with my Waverly Antique Wax. I am applying the plaster paint and the Waverly Antique Wax using a dry paper towel and this is going to help me achieve that leather look that I am going for. I really like the look that I am achieving with the two color paints so now I'm going to do the same with this other bucket. And then I'm going to add some thick nautical rope in the place of the metal handles. I really love how my sconces are turning out and these buckets are just going to add to that farmhouse look. I'm going to sit them right on top of the shelf and add a few floral picks and this DIY will be completed. I really hope you love this one as much as I do. Alright my friends, that is all that I have for you tonight. 
Thank you so much for spending a small part of your day with me. Please do not forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share this video with your friends because that really helps to support my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I really hope you enjoy tonight and will consider subscribing to my channel. Also remember that tonight is a part of a collaboration that I am hosting with my beautiful friend Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating. Her link is below in my description box. Do not forget to go over to her channel and check her out. I am sure you're going to love her just as much as I do because she is so very talented. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my mommy's channel.